Hi, beautiful people. I know this is a community of people that are ready to bounce back, people that are trailblazers, people that are world changers, and people that are out there to make sure that you see transformation happen in people's lives. We have created a very well-knit, closely-knit community, and I just appreciate every time I hear from you the questions that you ask, the tears that you cry, the concerns, the feedback. It all melts my heart, and I know that we are learning, we are growing, and not we're, we're not stopping for anything. And if there's anything that I have uh, kept emphasizing here is that if you can carry only one thing in life, one thing, if you ask me what's the best thing you can tell to anyone, I will not tell you to make money, I will not tell you to, I will tell you carry hope that tomorrow can be better than today. That even when you're going through the roughest part, the darkest time of your life, that there is hope, you can be better than where you are right now. And if we don't give in, we are surely going to make it. So today is one of those days where we get to host one of the most beautiful people um, in the industry. She has impacted us. She has transformed our lives. She has poured into our lives. She has, she has spoken life into our lives. And that is none other than Carol Flower. Uh, we have watched her. We have admired her. We have followed her on social media. And now we want to be able to hear her story. She is a human being. Even when she looks like an angel, she She's a human being, okay? <laughs> and um, I know that she has gone. We've had at quite some time, I remember, before I even uh, I give her to you, we've we've talked about life at some points. I, there is a time we even shared a set, mm -hmm. and you mentioned the glimpses of mm -hmm. what your life, snippets of what your life looked like. And I was like, yeah, one time we'll actually need to have a full story of this. So here she is, yeah, mm -hmm. and let's have a full glimpse of what her life uh, looks like. Welcome. Thank you very much. Such an honor to have you. Such an honor to be here as well, Ms. Mm -hmm. ba Mrs. Bahati. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yes. and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very sure we're mm -hmm. going to learn uh, to learn a lot. But I would love to, uh, I would love us to um, start from where I in so many people follow you, so mm -hmm. many people have seen you. What is the highlight of you being in the public eye for mm -hmm. the longest time? And mm -hmm. um, definitely, it has its own quirks and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But w what is the highlight for you being there? Being able to inspire as many people as I can. Yeah. Um, being able to be, to have a platform that, you know, reaches out to millions of people. Yeah. You know, um, uh, Bahati, you'll agree with me to mm. this. Uh, being on TV has a wider crowd than even having a church building. That's true. Because you have millions of people having millions of TVs in their homes. Yes. And they're all tuning in to watch. Zillions, so for me that's not just millions. <laughs> I know. Yes, so for me that's enough. And yeah. uh, where I really uh, appreciated that was uh, at one time I was in South Sudan mm -hmm. for some work, personal work. And mm -hmm. I'm at this hotel. I'm being served by a waitress who was just so happy to see me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she kept telling me, I follow you. I mm -hmm. like how you encourage us. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm I in mean, South, South Sudan. Sudan. Not Uganda. Yes, then one time I was at a border stage and there was a border person in South Sudan. I know, I know. <laughs> and I'm like, those, okay. Those moments are something else. <laughs> yes, and I'm like, okay. And then the other one was in, um, in China. Mm. So I'm in China. The certain lady just stops me on the streets like, Carol Flower, Carol Flower, oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. You really mm. inspire me. Mm. I'm like, okay, I'm actually inspiring in people. <laughs> and I'm in China. You know, I where know. you least expect people to know you. Yeah. So, yeah, the fact that I've been able to reach out to as many people as possible. Mm. Mm. And you know what mm. those moments do for mm. me? I think there are so many moments mm. as people who are in the public eye mm. for most of our lives. Mm. There are certain times that people never know that we have doubts. Yes. As to whether what we are doing is actually even mm. impactful mm. or even means something. Mm. Like, am I just showing up and wasting mm. people's time? Mm. Am I just... And what those moments do for me is like, okay, now I can go for the next month or the next year knowing that there is another person at the end mm. of that, the other side actually benefiting from what you are mm. doing. I, I don't know if they've been as encouraging as they are mm. to me when you bump into people mm. randomly. Actually, yes, and they've had a really um, great impact on my life. How? Each time I want to resign from the show, I do. <laughs> Very many times I have tried to. I have had. 
<laughs> very many times. I, I, I think there was a time where it was, yeah, in, year out, then six months in, six months out. Like, I think now, I, no. This is it. But then you meet someone and you're like, okay, I think I still have some work to do. Because for me, uh, the show I do, the gospel show I do is not for earning money. Mm -hmm. For me, it's um, 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 ministry. Um, it's ministry. I'm thanking God for where he has brought me from. And yeah. I want to use that platform to encourage other people. And then also my own colleagues, you know, just when you're thinking, oh, I'm not, someone will call you from work, maybe your supervisor or this. Caroline Flower, I think you need to do this. We have this. And you're like. Did I just say I want to resign? Okay, let me keep going. I know. No, so <laughs> <laughs> there are many times I've seen, I've seen DJs on and I'm like, I think this is it now. I think she's out of this show. And then uh, some other time you pop up and I'm like, hey, she's still on the show. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's, that's amazing. How that's how it's been. Mm. Yeah, but I thank God for that mm. platform. Mm. Um, I remember when I was young, um, especially when I joined my O level, mm. around S1, S2, S3, Mm. I used to have dreams, you know, to preaching on the streets. You know, and mm -hmm. I'm telling people, repent, repent. Then I'd wake up and tell my mom, I had this dream. And mom would tell me, no, write it down. Get a diary. Write everything down. Write mm -hmm. everything you're dreaming. And there was this day mm. I dreamt when, uh, when Jesus was telling me, come, my father wants to speak to you. And I'm in mm -hmm. some tall tower, but I'm not seeing the father. I'm mm -hmm. seeing this strong light. And I'm like, oh my God, 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 just it's okay, leave me. I can't stand you. <laughs> <laughs> and and then I was in this in the space with Jesus, you mm -hmm. know, telling people, repent, the world is coming to an end. Now that was in my S3. I woke up, I told my You're mom, telling people to repent. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then as a student, mm -hmm. and you know you're a teenager, you also mm -hmm. want to leave this other I know, that's why I'm, I'm saying yeah. how dare yeah, you say <laughs> repent when you have a life to live. Yeah, but I was mm -hmm. so much again, um, I was so much inclined to Christianity. I was actually always in church activities like choirs, dramas. Mm. That was me. So I remember telling mom, and then I said, you know what, God, if you really want me to preach, mm -hmm. if you want me to reach out to your people, give me a platform. And guess what? This platform comes during my that first year. That was your year. prayer. Yeah. Now this is like S3. Mm -hmm. Then my platform comes in my first year at campus. You know why most people say we've grown up seeing Carol? What they mm -hmm. don't know is we've grown up together. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, before, we'd be thinking you're 60 years old exactly, meanwhile for us <laughs> we've grown up together I know. We've, I, I, I started TV you started way young Yeah. in fact I started TV in more or less my S6 vacation mm. then to my first year then mm. I had all my kids on TV then you no, know for us we thought there you're mature no mm. <laughs> people won't believe that by the time I was speaking done, good English, you were well composed. <laughs> you, you, yeah, as in, who does just know by the time I was done with high school, I rather, mm. uh, by the time I was done with school, I was done with my three kids, mm -hmm. my first three kids. So, so basically, ah, yeah. So, wait. So, mm. uh -huh. yeah, no, just for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you mm. pretty much get into media at uh, senior six vacation. Mm. And immediately you go into, you, you get married and while that, you're still in school. Actually, this might sound surprising. Mm -hmm. I got married in my Essex vacation. Yes. I met then my husband while in my Essex. And we walked a journey together. And you decided to get yes, married. Yes, because... And your parents were okay with it. Of course, there was a scaffold. Mm -hmm. And I remember telling them, if you don't want to attend my wedding, it's up to you, but I'm doing things the right way. Yeah, so I mean... You decided to do things the right way, yes. but not their way. Not their not way. Not their timing. Yes, because as this spirit-filled spirit, spirit -filled girl, you like know... I don't want to sin. <laughs> yes. I don't want to do... Things. And then I meet someone who had the exact values I was looking out for. Mm -hmm. You see, when you're in that age, mm. your body is... First of all, not just your body, yeah. you're strug not just struggling with your body, mm. also peer pressure, also yes. people around you. And yes. you have all these um, people proposing to you. Yes. But then not everyone who says a good word to you. Has good intentions. Yes, or yeah. values you, mm. your body. Mm. So I meet somebody who is valuing everything about me. And mm. most importantly, he fronted God above all. Mm. And that, me, that was enough attraction. Mm. Like, oh my God, I'm with a man of God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're here telling people repent. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, like, scripture oh, union. Mm. I mean, this, mm. you know, and then uh, I'm in church. Mm. I'm always there every single Friday night. Meanwhile, I was one of those young or teenagers used to preach in those 
uh, buses of Pastor Robert. Are you serious? Those, the Deca buses. The Deca bu exactly. Ah, that, that generation was also ah. fire. Eh? You know, so you're like this young. <laughs> and then you're preaching to old people. And like, nah, I think they'd be like, nah, I think that they look like a beautiful, like a beautiful girl uh, trying to preach the gospel. There was like, no ah, shame. Jesus also saved, saved this <laughs> there one. There was no shame. Mm. And once the buses dropped us in town, you had to walk back home in the morning. <laughs> So some people came to those buses just to hear you preach. It's possible. <laughs> even know. Because after the overnight, mm -hmm. I'm still in school. So we'd come out every Friday, then go back on Sundays. Good enough, it was a school that would let us have weekly boarding. Mm. So every overnight, I'm at church and would pray until our socks tear. That was the, that was the thing. Yes. Put on your socks, walk around church. When they tear, then you've really prayed. Is then, are those the types of riot and stuff like that yes. where the fire was yes. really yes and wow. I miss the fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you miss I miss that fire too. I miss that fire because ah, yeah. it was something else. Yeah. It nurtured us mm. into into Christianity. Mm. But so you decide to get married. Mm. Have ch three children. Yes. And then you finish school. Yes, when I was there. So I was hitting many birds. At the same <laughs> with, yes. a, with one stone. With one stone, yes. Yeah, but, but mm. I, it's, it's a good mm. thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's, not a, it's not a bad thing. Mm. I think looking back, you're glad mm. you actually yeah, did. Yeah, actually, uh, about two weeks ago, I was done with my show, and I found this gentleman. I honestly don't know him, but he knows me very well. Mm -hmm. So I get out of the show. He's like, hi, Flower. I'm like, hi. I'm like, hi. I'm like, you know, I'm looking at him. <laughs> You're looking so at I'm old, looking at him. At I'm like, okay, man. what an introduction. Mm -hmm. So, and the next thing is like, Rachi to Kadiwa. I'm like, go Rachi agala Kadiwa. No, we're we're bagala yeah. Rachi agala Kadiwa. Rachi to ondeka. You know, so it's 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 something I've always found people ask me. I've grown up, but what people don't know, especially those in my in, because I'm in my thirties. I'm in my mid thirties. Mm. Most people in my in my age don't understand that we've grown up together. The difference is I was that on you actually screen. gave birth when you were a baby yourself. Like, yes, I mean I was on the screen mm. while you were in your home watching me. Mm. So the, while you were getting older, <laughs> me I was here getting younger. Yes, yes and I'm very happy to. See Say, uh, mm. my firstborn is 15 years and mm. taller than me. And teen oof. mom. Yeah, I'm a teen mm. mom, actually. A lot of work. Yes. So I, I, mm. I, I want us to give people uh, mm. some hope, and I'm mm. so glad that we get to dive in this way so mm. people can have a glimpse of, because you've been this jolly person, mm. a butterfly around, and uh, if people are asking you why don't you get old, you mm. can liter literally see so many people's perception, mm. like, ah, <laughs> whatever you know, yeah. you know? Mm. all those things. I want us to be able to share some of those things that you really think were your darkest moments moments in life that mm. are hidden out of people's eyes. They mm. don't know what exactly is happening, mm. but you're fighting with your own demons. You're fighting with your own whatever it is. But while you come out, you're actually smiling and mm. everything is okay on the show. Okay. So first of all, um, I'll just give a brief background. Mm. My very, very first job, I've shared this with a number of people, was a waitress mm. while I was 16 years. Mm. Um, at a certain then uh, restaurant called Santos. So it was a Lebanese. And I remember... Santos. <laughs> it had good ice cream. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I was one of the ice cream... Like? I was one of the ice cream girls. Are you Nansa serious? Vinga. I mean, Nalinga. I used to go to Santos most of the Sundays. So just know every, <laughs> every holiday. I was my job was secured. I think it stopped functioning twenty years ago or yes. something. Yes, Santos, but Santos stopped functioning. I had my second one, mm. who is now about... Um, He's 12 years. Yeah, that should have been mm. 15 to 12 years. Yes, yes. It has been out of service for long. So I was in uh, S3 there. Mm, mm. Yeah, I was into my 16th year. Mm. And I was working as a waitress. Mm. And I imagine this small girl mm. serving tea, what, also ice cream, mm. cleaning those ice cream things. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so basically that's me. That's where proper proper life started mm, mm. then later on i meet a friend edwin musimi mm. uh, he introduced me to television and allow me not to mention the name mm. of course those who know know it mm. and uh, i remember that time i was earning a hundred thousand per month mm. but i'm married mm -hmm. you're giving back and then i'm also expecting mm -hmm. and but that 100 was very special for me mm -hmm. I, I was one of those 
girls and now women who never believed in depending on a man. Mm. My husband could afford to take care of me, but mm. I was I never wanted to ask him for anything. Mm. I always wanted to be independent. I always wanted to be able to pay my own transport to and from town. Mm. He had a car, I didn't have a car, mm. but I didn't want to ask him for rides. So I was that person who'd step in a taxi mm. on a border mm. and uh, just to go to work where to go you to earn work. And to be, yes, and month. be anywhere. Mm. You know, anywhere mm. I want to go. But I also had a vision to set up a business. Mm. So but then the problem was that a hundred was not coming in time. Yeah. So at times you'd take up to four months without a salary. Then eventually you, you take it. And now I opted for that op mm. for that option. Why? Mm. Then I was getting 400, mm -hmm. which was good for me. For the other job. Yes, mm. well, for I was. Yes. So it, it was better than me earning, I mean, going to pick my 100 yes. every month. Yes. I'm like, okay, mm. since they don't pay us a month, at least they give us, uh, my, they'll give me my amount every after four months. Mm. I'll go for that 400K. Mm. And I would walk. I'd walk from the from the taxi park, old park, to mm. to, to my place of work. Mm. That's around Nile Avenue. Then walk back. Mm. But it was fun. Mm. And I remember there was this day I was um, preparing a meal mm. for my husband. Mm. We were just the two of us in the house. Mm. A whole pan of cooking oil burnt my entire face mm -hmm. into my neck. It was really bad. I, I, I don't even know how my eyebrows grew back because this whole part was fired up. I had mm -hmm. wounds. I had big blisters all, all over face. my face. Mm. Yes. And instead of thinking about my health, I was thinking, my job. <laughs> like, my God. To go to, to shop I'm like going to lose day. my job. Mm. I can't. How is my, is my. Will my face ever recover? Mm. Will they let me back even after spending a month or two? Because it was a severe burn. Just not a whole pan of cooking oil. Mm. Not this little cooking oil for onions. Mm. I was going to deep fry Irish potatoes. Okay. So I, uh, we used the wrong pan. When it overheated up with the oil, it just came Ooh. straight to my face. Ooh. Yes. So I was burnt, burnt in my thigh. And it was really bad. It was really bad. But was was, then on, on, on TV, it's your face that... Yeah, but now I had to, to stop thin. working. Mm. And then you're thinking, will I still have my job back? Will you I know, earn? I valued that money little mm. as it was mm. to me it was something that would help me start also other things yes while i look out for a bigger picture but now here i am just when i get my job mm. i'm burnt mm. completely burnt mm. hilda i was burnt these lashes were burnt out mm. these eyelids were burnt the whole face was burnt 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 on my neck my thighs mm. and i remember there was this lady who came to visit home mm. she was a church elder mm. she's like you know, we have to be very mindful of the words we say yeah. to people. You know, she comes in and she's like, mm -hmm. I was burning that alone put my esteem down. So I remember leaving the visitors in the sitting room. Mm. I just went back to my bedroom, locked and said, God, if only you heal my face and mm. restore my face, mm. I promise I will serve you. Mm. Actually, those are some of the I'll reminders. I'll be more than the preacher. Yeah, those are some of the reminders when mm. I'm about to move. I mm. remember some of my, my, my promises. Prayers. and mm. yes, I said, okay. And... God did it. Actually, my father-in-law from Noah said, but you guys, mm. go behind your house. There is some plant called Zit mm -hmm. Put it on the face. Remember, we're going to hospital. I'm mm. giving all these drugs, tubes, but things were just worsening. They mm. said, no, you get that. I'm going to go to Mululuza. And within a week, I was dry. Wow. After a long struggle. With your scars. Yes. But mm. again, God Better. restored me. How? Mm. Mm. I didn't get scars mm. i didn't get permanent scars mm. yes at one point my face was black mm. literally because mm. of the dark 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 scars mm. but look at me now I who know, would tell i know no one yeah and then my job was secured mm -hmm. you came back, back to your job after, yes, after yes. some time and with a testimony yeah mm. Mm. then uh yeah so that's how tv started mm. and uh jokingly i applied at ntv mm. And boom, I Jokingly, get job. you were yes. not even serious about it. I, no, not that I was not serious. I was mm. sure I'm not going to get that job. Oh, Because, you know, the you know, we have, we, we women, we, 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 
we question our identity so much. Yeah. And the reason we do the things we do is we are looking for identity. Mm, the validation. Yes, and we're looking important. for validation, exactly. Mm, and you know, Am I good enough? Yeah, so you're like, let me try. I know these guys always like that. Crime de la crime. Mm. You're still studying. You don't have credentials. You know, you don't have ex like much work experience. Yeah. You're looking at people like Maurice Mogisha, know. you know, may her soul rest in peace, Rosemary. Yeah. You're, you know, you're looking at the Faridas, you're like, eh. Mm. This is Banampa. where I want to go. Mm. Eh, Banampa. Mm. Like, no, it's okay. Can't get mm. I put, I, I just, like, I really want to encourage people. Mm. You try. Try yeah. and fail, but yeah. try. Yeah. I did my simple CV. Sent it. And sent it. Mm. And I was called. And I, there was a whole line of people, mm. <laughs> of candidates mm. <laughs> for my job. But Same spot. You didn't I get won. there and you're like, ah, ne, kakati van van, you can in, can be there. No, I stood in the sun, mm. was in the parking lot. We mm. did our screen interviews. Mm -hmm. Um, and I left immediately. I was very sure I'm not going to get that job. Mm -hmm. But I got the job. And interestingly, according to my boss then, mm. she just liked me. She said, I gave you the job because you actually were not presenting to show us you have presenting skills, but you knew God. And mm. us were looking for someone who understands God. Wow. This was going to be the first gospel show on TV, on NTV. So... That we needed you stand out. Yes, like I, you, who you are. Yes, you and I knew the scripture. That. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. And for the first time, I had a job that was giving me some good money. I was like, hey. mm? they didn't even wait for three months. I mm. don't know. No, 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 no. No probation. I was, nothing. I was earning my job. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was earning my money. Mm. Also paying NSSF. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> from nothing from, to from, something. Yeah, I yeah. know. Mm. <laughs> so here you are. You you are busy, and now you've started. You've gotten mm. into the main. You know now yes. we are, uh, people are getting mm. to know you yes. at this point. Mm. Um, you are still giving birth then. Yeah, actually, uh, the time I got uh, my NTV job, I was expecting my second born. I was mm -hmm. about four months. Now, that was also another reason I thought you I wouldn't. You thought you would not get it. Yes. And my tummy wasn't showing, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so they just learned, they got to know after some hey, time. Hey. They're like, oh, she was. But mm -hmm. again, who you are, I think mm -hmm. I love that part, mm -hmm. that you don't have to force anything. Mm -hmm. If you're a Christian, be who you are. Yes. That even in places where you don't think it can really matter much, mm -hmm. you can never know that someone will choose on you mm -hmm. because of your knowledge of God, mm. not because of anything else that yes. you are that, that mm. you are doing. So mm. you go through, uh, you start now the journey of actually being now so a much host. public. Yes, back then you were mm. public, but mm. maybe at a certain yes. magnitude. Yes. But now you start the journey of being. I mean, you're public. working with a leading I know. mainstream TV I know. station. NTV you know, then. oh my God, like who wasn't watching it? Exactly, mm -hmm. and <laughs> and also. Um, and, and I, I really won favor before my boss. She started mm. putting me in different departments. Remember, I've never started journalism. Yeah. I went through training. Uh, we really, really trained mm. to be on TV. Mm. And then she started put. I, I was in different departments. You know, I was put in news, I was put in here. Try to produce here, try to yes, do this. Yes, I, I learned By the things. time I, I came in, I used to see you, like, contribute can, to so many things. I can produce a whole show. Yeah. I can direct a show. I can, you know. Uh, you know, she kept saying, I don't want to see presenters just presenting. I want you to get these other skills, get these skills, get that skills. That and was powerful. Yeah. That was powerful. Mm. So you are in that thriving now, I would say, mm. career. Mm. What would you say was still the darkest moments? in your life because that has been quite a long mm -hmm. stretch up mm -hmm. to where you are right now mm -hmm. and i know there there's been ups and downs yes. the fluctuations yes. of yes. life the highs of complete happiness mm -hmm. and then the, the the lows of mm -hmm. you don't know whether you are going to survive what's coming mm -hmm. definitely there is trolling on social media social media exposes you to a mm -hmm. whole world of people who have data mm -hmm. and they have a lot to say they know nothing about your life but they have so much to say mm -hmm. about your life What's been those moments? The darkest moments. Mm. There are many, mm. but that one that was all over media was actually my marriage. Mm. When uh, my marriage was, at first was actually just being shaken. We had not yet separated. Mm. And then, I don't know, there was all this wrong information about me. Um, I'm taking pictures, seated with people, and I'm told uh, these people, one of them is my man. Mm -hmm. And the next thing, they're actually mentioning the hotel, I'm sleeping with this person, mm -hmm. and the room number, and that room number had never existed at that hotel. You went unchecked? Because oh. I know the hotel, that's Serena. Mm. That room number doesn't exist. Okay. I mean, Serena, well, these are all sister companies, yeah, yeah. you know. So we know, we are always there. Mm. 
And of course, I've also spent nights in Serena, so mm. at least I have an idea. Mm. Um, that so they has choose never a number exist. that is unexistent. Uh, anything for bloggers to be paid. And I remember there was this certain blogger who actually called me and said, you know, there is this story, blah, 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 and there mm -hmm. is this other story that's going to come out. Just pay us about 400, 500, we'll not let it out. I told him, no, I just go ahead and do what you want to do. I'm not going to pay for a story not to come out. Because just when it's not going to come out, you're going to ask me to pay you another money. I know. For, you know? So, so I'm going to become a source of income. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. You do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. it will, the, the fire will cease. Those but were, but no ones, yeah. prior, prior to that, like mm -hmm. everything was seamless. Everything was okay. Yes. But of course, there was always rumors. Mm -hmm. Something is not going well. Truthfully, something wasn't going well in mm -hmm. my marriage. Inside. Yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know. And you were trying to manage it. Yes. Outside of yes, media. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Like everyone, I mean, mm. like every marriage has its ups and Rocking downs. And moments. that was my, you know, my downs. Mm. Yeah. But, but you knew you would mm. wither the storm. Yes. You would, you would, yes. the marriage could last through yes. the storm. Mm. Yes. But there was always But now there is now this. Yes. And then, and then when, you're accu when you're accused of um, adultery, yeah, that's a very hard one. That's a nail. That's a hard one, yeah. you know. You, ha you, you have a, a show where you're inspiring people to become a certain type of people. Yeah. And here you are, it's a different story, and it's all over the pa pages. Imagine you're driving to work in the morning and everywhere there is paper, your face is there. Eh? Oh, flower, I'm Oh, and, and you know, one moment they're saying you're with this person, the next moment they're saying, and you're like, like, what is what? Yes, yes. Can, so, you, can you go with one story yes. at least? And, and you know people believe what they read more than the actual truth. No, you know, the they, thing is... They, people believe in negativity. I exactly, don't know why. Exactly, exactly. It's yeah. so quick to pounce mm. on that story. Mm. And sometimes when people look at you in the public eye and they figure out everything is mm. okay, and now something bad is coming, they're like, it's so easy to believe. They're like, ah, we thought they're any different, but they're not any, mm. dif they are any different. But I want to know the first moment the story broke out mm. and uh, it was out in public. Did you know it was coming out? The first first one, no. Mm. But the next so one So you were yes. as surprised as the rest of us? Because the, the next one was hard. You know how someone will tell you there's a story coming out and you're like... Ah. That was the next one? Yes. The first one yes. came out without the you? No, it was there. Carol Flower seen with so-and-so at this event. Seen with so-and-so? Yes. Seen. Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, having a, a cozy moment. Mm -hmm. But you know, you know concerts. Mm -hmm. So it was a concert. Now these are tables. We are in the VIP. Definitely, mm. when you're talking to each other, you you're whispering. You're, you're, you're you get close because you can't hear each other. Yeah. Mm. So that was the caption. They took the picture. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like eh, flowers seen, mm. uh, uh, having a cozy moment. moment. You know. Yes. So, uh, like, what's your reaction at that point? Of course, you panic a bit. Mm. You panic because this is media. This yeah. is publicity. You know. Yeah. It's like okay. And bad publicity. Mm. And very bad publicity. And I'd never been in media for any wrong reason. Mm. So this person, um, it was his first time to also be in the media in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And he really wanted, you know that there was that era of don so and so, don so and so, <sighs> sangoma don, you know? Socialites. <laughs> those ones who, who would come and line Especially up. Especially Basamas. Yes, you those just from come. South Africa my goodness, to be specific. My goodness. So those would line up their fleet of cars, I don't know, Range the Rovers, money. I don't know, Hammers and, you know, money and what. So I happened to be on the they same table. They were chopping table. life. Yes, I happened that to... That was the, the Ezra era. No, not Ezra. No, 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 no. I'm saying that was around the same yes. South African era of people Thank coming you. in. Thank mm. you, yes. So... And they didn't mind the publicity. No. Bad or good. Yes. They so this specific it. person had never been in, pub in public for anything. Okay. And he really wanted to be there. Ah. So he had tried. But the moment he saw himself with me, he asked, who is this girl? Uh-huh. Does she have anything? What, 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 what? Like, mm -hmm. no. Because this is the information I got. And we actually yes. talked about it with mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. So he decided that it's okay. Wait. It's my time to shine. Wait. Yeah. He did it intentionally. Yes. Told someone to take a picture. He started getting people to take pictures of us. Because we, we at, that was the first concert. Mm -hmm. Now, after one year, there was another concert in the same place. Mm -hmm. And they were there. So, like, how you meet someone you've you know met before. before yes. Little did you know people were taking pictures. And then I realized, Carol, come join us on our table. Mm. Okay. 
Hmm. But when I would walk with him, he would get so close to me, hmm. so cozy, you know. Not but like touchy, touchy, but it was intentional. Yeah, because we're in media, we yeah. meet people. Yeah. And the next thing, I'm in the papers again. Mm -hmm. Of course, anyone would believe. Yeah, that we same. saw it. And now again, yes. But back. now this time round, it was so bad, bad. Mm -hmm. And that's the time. Uh, Coop and I had just separated. Mm. Okay, I don't really want to, but it's okay. It's okay. That's the time I had just separated. And then he's like, you see, you see. And then one of my colleagues. So the separation mm. came because of the internal. First we had us as a couple. Yes. We had our issues. Issues, yes. Mm. Mm. And we just failed to be compatible due to the how we looked at things. With those, did you foresee that they were driving you to a place of separation? Yes, at, no, not really. But Without yes, the one, help of these media. Yes, uh, as was not more of a separation, it was more of a break. Yes. You know? Uh, an intentional break. Yes, an like, intentional break. Like, take your break. space, I take yes, my space. Yes. We I think we, we, we are both looking for the space okay. without saying it. Okay. But indirectly saying it. Mm. You know how you say, you know what, I think I'm going to go back to mom or I'm going to do this, I, I, you know. Like you're really longing yes, for it. Yes, yes, So w was, was this like a break of a camel's back when... This, the media story started? Uh, the media story has confirmed a lot of rumors that uh. my husband then was receiving. Because he always had people who tell him this, tell him that. About you. About me, yes. Mm. And to him, seeing this in the papers was the a finale. confirmation. Like, mm -hmm. And none of them was true. Mm. Um, but of all people mm. that came out, and I'll always appreciate him, was my former colleague, I don't know if it's okay to mention That's him. That's okay. That's okay. That's Douglas Rwanga, mm. who intentionally had to call this gentleman for an interview. He didn't tell him why he was calling for an interview, mm -hmm. but he asked him mm. on live show, mm. "Are you dating Carol?" He said, "Yes." Are you sure you're dating Carol? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But do you know Carol is married and has? She was like, "Yeah, I know," and she has issues in her marriage, so. We, we started moving, we, we moved on and we are together. Mm -hmm. We've been living together in South Africa for the last two years. Yes. Mm -hmm. The audacity. The audacity. And I had not been in South Africa during that time. I mean, mm -hmm. in those two years, I was expecting my third born, and in the same, the following year, I was giving birth to my third born. Mm -hmm. So at what point did I go to South Africa? For two years. <laughs> for those two years. I mean, mm -hmm. I was always on TV, I was always mm -hmm. in my home. Mm -hmm. eh, 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 that thing raised dust mm -hmm. and really Luanga could I mean, try to defend me mm. and uh, he actually it's like yes. like yes. the one the other one is very adamant yes but was his own it was for him it was very selfish all he cared about was him to be known in the public he would do anything for to publicity yes and I was actually there but not in studio yeah. as somewhere around office watching yeah I was in shock. The lies. Yes, I was in shock. Man, when and the devil comes for you, eh? Yeah. Now, remember, Cooper is angry at me. We have all these issues ongoing. Yeah. And then this. And then someone confirms it live. Yeah. How are you going to explain it to your husband? Oh, you can't. You have that, no that words. That this is not true. Like, you have no words. Yes. You're speechless. He's angry. Of course, he's going to believe anything that comes, yeah. comes forward. Like, you know, that's when I said, you know what? Mm. Okay. I've had it. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> like your heart came to terms. Yes. That was but, very hard. But, but I, I, I still want, want to mm. know, before your heart comes to terms, I know there is that turmoil where we ask ourselves the endless questions. Of, like, why me? Why this time? Why? Like, what was going on in your mind? A lot. You know, a lot. Hilda, at that time I was going to... Um, I had a very close friend of mine who was, going, who was wedding. I mm. was her matron. And I remember some church leaders asked her, why would you want a woman who has failed in her marriage to be your matron? Wow. You know? That audacity, that, you know, Spitting that... Spitting to your face. You know? So I'm walking down the aisle with her, but I'm not confident. I know. You know, as I told her, you know, don't look at my failures. So small. Don't look at my failures. Pay attention to our friendship. Mm. Pay attention to the journey we've walked together. And um, just, uh, we had a reception and... You know, because I'm known in the mid, in the Christian circles, you know. Everyone is not even looking at the bride. No, they're like, looking at you. Right, yes, as they were And you know, what I want to really say. To you, I wish people knew mm. and understood that statement. Yes. But what I also want to say to Christians is, don't be the type of people that put people down. That's why we are losing it as today. 
we are losing it because we want to see people down. We want to show, we know it all, we are authoritative, we are, we are in the same perfect, mm. we are, you know. Find out before concluding, before judging. No, how about they stay mm. in their own lane? And stay in your lane, You yes. have enough problems of yes. your own. Yes, Some at this reception. The audacity to mind other people's yes. business. Mm. I'm at this reception. Then I stopped Just going. imagine, the one that was beaten last night is asking, mm. where is she, the metro? Yes, then I stopped going to church. Because every time you go to church, <sighs> yeah. Or you get a church, everyone is looking at you. Mm. That was the story, by the yeah. way. I actually it's had to pray. Everywhere. I had to say, God, I take that garment off me. Mm. It's not right. Mm. Mm. And there was this day I was uh, starting up my business. Mm. A certain gentleman comes to me. And says, when you were starting Fezabu? Yes. And that in, was around in, the separation time? Shortly after. Broken? Sometime after. A few after. After, but mm. not so much. But mm. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm at, <laughs> at my place of work, mm. setting up my place. I meet mm. someone that knew both of us, calls mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. asks me, Carol, like, what are you talking about? Jesus. I looked at this dude. Actually, even calling like a, a dude. Like a place of work. Yes. He called me aside. Until what you mean? So that's actually, that was too much for me. It was overwhelming for me. But you see, why How, we are Where do you even hide as a public person? <laughs> Actually, went, uh, if, if you, you notice, hide? Hilda, for a very long time, I've been zoned out. People only see me on TV, and that's it. You'll hardly find me on events. Even Christian events, I'm very selective where I go. And I choose where I sit because I don't want to answer questions. And guess what? Mm. That reminds me. There were some of us, I don't know whether that applied to other people, but mm. I remember my husband and I, mm. we were in that place of how do we reach out to Carol and we are not misinterpreted mm. as bundled up with everyone else. Mm. As in, we would love to reach out with hope that we understand where you, you, you are, but we're like, how do you even start that conversation? So now, some of us got mm. into praying for you mm. that God will give you the strength to go through your own story mm without even coming to even say anything, because then what do you say? And I know there are so many people who are like that. But mm. to say that someone comes and sells Vaku wins. Yeah, but me, that was the story. That was the story. Actually, the, the, the hardest one, apart from the tabloids, mm. was my husband found me red-handed. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, stories were flying right to Wait, left center. Who started that one again? We, I honestly don't know. Somehow you find yourself in the tabloids and someone says, a source from her church mm -hmm. or close sources. Mm -hmm. And you're like, Say the, for the husband quote her. Yes. But then, interestingly, he, had nev he has never said such a thing. <laughs> there are times we've had to sit down with my, painfully to say, my ex-husband. Mm. I expect, have you ever by any chance said this? Like, no, Carol, I, mm. I would never. I know we had our issues as a couple yeah. but i also know there are things they would never do to me mm. at least we have that mutual respect mm. for each other mm. so like, okay what's this Why my name was tarnished but remember i have kids yeah imagine these are tabloids that are here to stay imagine one time your child is in google because when you google carol flower it comes up the f sex it, and the word is you know sex I know. I know. painfully unsieved unfiltered you know just like that you're like okay I have to always explain myself. Others blamed me, others for the called rest me of names, life, others yeah. say this, but they don't really know the actual reason mm. why we separated mm. with my ex-husband. You know, mm. sometimes not every marriage is meant to work out. Exactly. I know marriages are meant to work out, but no, sometimes most not <laughs> we all start wanting mm. them to last. Mm. No one starts a marriage, mm. walks down the aisle thinking this is going to happen for five years. Mm -hmm. six years, and then it will be no more. No one has that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, so many things unfold yes. along the storyline. Yes. And it's only good to be honest with yourself mm -hmm. that this is not something I can handle anymore mm -hmm. or defend anymore. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's how it was, um, Hilda. That was very hard for me because it happened when... At the peak of your career. Yes. At and the peak. here I am, I'm, I'm sharing with people the news 
hope, I'm inspiring, I'm sharing stories. But yeah, I'm, I'm also breaking down with my own story. Um, I'm having issues. I'm, I'm, losing, I'm, I'm losing my home. I'm, we are fighting for the kids, which is very normal when You're in any separation. I'm looking for money. I know. I, I didn't even start my business in a building. This started from a backpack. Wow. My salary started my business, literally. I would put a, this and this go. I remember I used to do makeup and Ma stuff yes, like that. Yes. Yeah, I used to carry a backpack. So whenever backpack, I would find you. Yes, yeah. put in my spritz, uh, flat iron. <laughs> combs. <laughs> Styling combs. Brush. Black gel. Yeah. And a hand dryer. You know? So I'm trying to break even. I didn't care whether you see me on TV if I'm doing my hustle. I'm doing my it's hustle. My hustle I, don't, I don't care. I'm on one bus after the other. Mm. For some, I was, God really favored me. I always had gigs, mm. introductions, mm. weddings. Mm. <laughs> so that's I've been able to at least visit most parts of Uganda. Mm. So, yeah. So it was really hard. It was really hard. Um, it was very hard to explain to my kids. Mm. The young ones were really young. At that time, my daughter was only one and a half years. My middle child was about two mm. and some few months. Mm. You know, how do you explain? And then there's all these rumors at your place of work. Then you have to explain yourself to some to people. Mm. Yes. And, um, and then at one point, you just want to give up. But again, you, again you're like, okay, if I give up, then, then what? Mm. Then I really lost my self-esteem. I said, when I'd go to restaurants, I would never want anyone to notice I'm there. Mm -hmm. So how do you hide? <laughs> oh, you get corners. And God has a sense of humor. <laughs> Give you a, a bright color that I'm you get in, you. and everyone is like, That is Carol. That's Carol. Mm -hmm. So, when I drive to work, I'd make sure I quickly run out of studio. I never wanted to greet people along the way. So, I'd use all those bull shortcuts at my place of work to mm. get to my car. Then, I started opting for night shifts at work because now I was not just a host, I was also a producer. Yeah. Also, that helped me because I was always at work. Mm, busy. It kept me busy. Mm. So I'd be in studio in the night. <laughs> Doing all these things. <laughs> then be taken back people. home at 10 or uh, 11 in the night, yes. How did mm. your bosses uh, take that? Because now mm. you are a frontliner in their workspace mm. and you're professing Jesus. You're giving hope. You have to come on every Sunday. How, how did they take it? Because, I mean, for some bosses will think, you know what, ah, th this is it. It can't cut anymore. No, actually, my main bosses didn't interfere at all. They just kept you going? They just kept me going, renewed my contracts. Wow. That's the time That's I asked. Beautiful. That's the time I asked for a car loan. Ah. My HR was like, no problem. Uh -huh. Then it's like, you need Find to join it. this circle. Uh -huh. for, we had a circle. An where we, internal circle. Yes, mm. where I would be able to get um, land, mm. houses, you know, mm. through loans. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> like, uh, at least someone uh, yes. looks at me as a human yeah. being that is worth supporting. Yes. yes. Wow. So, yeah, but it was very hard. Mm. It was very emotionally hard spiritually, emotionally, and I have to be honest mm. um, to everyone viewing. When mm. you find people you once knew mm. as spirit-filled and doing unusual things, don't judge them. Yeah. Find out why are they doing the things they're doing. Mm. At that moment, honestly, this mm. is the first time I'm publicly going to say this. I've never said it. Mm. I turned to alcohol. I was never an alcoholic person. Yeah. I never took alcohol, but I took alcohol. And there are times I would walk in for GXP mm. when I know the whole night, and not publicly alcohol. Yeah. I would drink myself in my bedroom. Yeah. And I would Filled go with hangover. Yes, and I would go to GXP. My head is just spinning. Pounding. And I'd say, God, just give me a message, just to like you, through. just like you did with Jeremiah. Wow. Give me a message to speak to your people, because I don't know what to say. But you know, the script is there, but you don't even have the energies to read yeah. the script or you have to create the script. You're remember? out of alignment. Yes, I'm a producer. Yeah. Like, okay. And I remember there was this day my mom came in at home. Mm. I, got, I walked in my house with a whole black cover of bottles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she just picked my bottles, threw them out and broke them. I fought with her. You know, she told me, Carol, mm. I know you for being a, a, a woman of You're God. A different person. This is not you. I'm going to put my mattress here and pray for you until you're back on. Hilda, depression is real. I know. 
Depression is real. And it, it will feel like you'll never get out. Yes. But I ask anyone who knows me. I'm there never, is no lies. As, even high school, by the time I was done with high school, that's a peak of being, when you're a teenager, yeah. that's the time you... You get spoiled. You get but spoiled. But even then... And I'm in an international school where yeah. alcohol was just there. Mm. And cheap and at that time. And yeah, and, and weed. Mm. But I didn't take any of those. For but here you are in a mm. ditch. But people in don't know. In the woods, know. lost. Yes. yes. And there are times I'd actually sit on any nearby bar. Because it was the only way I would sleep. It was the only way I would be happy. You were trying to numb your pain. Mm. <laughs> it's the only way I would laugh and crack jokes and mm. be sometimes talkative, you know. And in the morning, I have to be on TV. And at times, I'd sit on TV, but my head is not... <laughs> it's, in the right it's space. It's heavy. Mm. My head is heavy because I was drinking something strong. Then yeah. it came from just having casual alcoholic drinks to looking for hardcore. I no, looked, we, I'd <laughs> look for 40% volume. Mm -hmm. Now that one is enough for me. Mm. But this is not Carol. I started from punching to having it mm, live. live as mm, it is. Mm. But right now, offer me those drinks. I cannot have them. Wow. Yeah. So That means God has patched up certain things. So much. I, and, and when I got out, I said, mm. there's a number of things that happened during that period. But when actually... The one place that kept me intact was GXP. That's the one place. And even just intact. affording you that platform continuously mm. without looking yes. at your struggles, yes. that was also administering yes. healing. Yes. Because wow. I, 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 I started, I don't like to use words like hate, mm. but I started disliking church. Mm. I started disliking Christians because I felt really, really a sense of betrayal. Yeah. I'm like, why can't someone call me and pray with me and help me reconcile and, and, and not judge me? Yeah. Why is it people are always looking out for the wrong things and talking about the wrong things and magnifying the wrong things. Why can't All you look time. for me and help me through my battle? Not that I'm a human being. I'm in yes. pain. And there was this specific... I remember there was a day I break through mm. my saloon. Mm. Someone came from nowhere and gave me five million to start my salon. Wait. Yeah. I was like, wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know what Pastor Robert Kayanja thinks of me. Mm -hmm. But I'd already drunk some alcohol that day. Mm -hmm. I didn't care. Mm -hmm. I just went straight to Miracle Center to give a testimony. Mm -hmm. And I'm on that pulpit. I know for sure I was smelling alcohol. Mm -hmm. Me, that's my embarrassment with Pastor Robert. I yeah. even fear to see him to this day. Mm. I mean, I was this person who would walk into his office. But from that moment, you, when, you the alcohol, away. when the alcohol got off, I'm like, <laughs> what did I just do, Carol? Mm. But I testified. I'm like, guys, wow. God is good. Wow. I'm starting a saloon. Wow. So I, wa <laughs> I walked straight up to the pulpit, mm. but I was not myself. That was during 77? The first season yeah. of 77. I was not myself. But you made it there. That's I'm, what counts. But whoever Because you could have been in any other yes, space. But I left where I was with my money. Mm -hmm. Whoever was there that day. Whoever talked to me at church that day must have noticed I was high. High. I wasn't even high, like staggering or anything, but I had, you can, you can tell when someone has consumed alcohol. Mm, mm. And to me, that's one of my regrets. Because I don't know how people who looked up to me that day thought felt about you. or thought about me. I don't know how my spiritual father, who I really look up to to this day, thought of me. That even when I go to church today, when I go to Miracle Center today, I'm <laughs> actually that's my. <laughs> but you know one, one thing about leaders, I'm God, sorry. Can, God cannot give you that. Actually, space. that's my only. Leave alone the whole separation. Mm. That's my only pain. Embarrassment. That was my embarrassment. You know, like you're. <laughs> I actually never cry. I'm very strong. Mm. I don't mm. know what has happened. Mm. So you know, you're like every time I go to church, yeah. I'm given front seats. I'm doing this. I'm doing yeah. that. But you know that shame. Yeah. I said to myself, my God, mm. what did I just do? Because before I even went for that testimony, mm. I had spoken to some pastors who who are close. Mm. And I don't even know what, I don't even remember what I was saying to them. Mm. I was first of all excited, but I was also high. Could you have mumbled something that you would I regret? I don't know. Could to you? this day, because I've never faced them. <laughs> wow. Even when I go to church, I make sure I sit at the extreme back. I don't want anyone to ask me questions. I don't want anyone to ask me anything, just leave me. I've come to pray I and know. I'm going. Mm. When I'm taking my tithe at the front, I always have this feeling, suppose Pastor Robert calls me out. Mm -hmm. What will I see? You should see me. Mm? You should come. Once in a when I go, you should see me at church. Mm -hmm. But I run, put Drop my envelope. 
<laughs> go back and sit. <laughs> yes, as soon as Muse steps off the pulpit, I'm straight Out to my door. car. Mm. That is the shame I've had to go through due to depression. Mm. And I just want to correct this. Yes, I had an issue with my ex-husband. Mm. We had issues. We just failed to be compatible, but we are not bad people. Yeah. Cooper is such an amazing person and a very good father. Mm. I don't think I'm a bad person. Mm. Uh, he can say that. Mm. But people around us made it worse for us. Mm. And if there's anybody who put in salt in our situation were people around us. Wow. They were put people more around us. Soul to the injury yes. that was yes. already there. Yes, yes. And I must say, mm. Hilda, the greatest enemy to a woman is actually a woman. Will pull you when down. a woman finds you going through something, you'll have two categories of women. Those who'll do everything to help a situation and those who'll go talk about the situation and, and what's those in that the help situation. Are few. And those that help are rare. Yeah. Not just few. Very rare. Very rare to find, yeah. Oh my God. So oh that's, my God. that's the thing. And now today I have to leave questions of, apart from my old boy who is very quiet and mm. gentle, this mm. little one, mm. ah, mommy, that's what really happened. Old. My 15 year old is a gentleman. He's, he's a he quiet. never asks about that. No. So the middle mm. one, uh-huh. Because <laughs> they they're always ask. the attention seekers. Yeah. Mm. And they don't remember what it was like being a family. So they ask me, how was it like when you were with daddy? Oh. Did, did you guys just take us for swimming, you know, this, you know, you know? <laughs> You're like, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it trigger you sometimes? Yes, it does. But I always tell them, no, don't ask me questions. When you're 18, we'll talk about it. Right now, you're young. Oh. I don't put them in the, I don't leave them in the dark. Mm. I give them hope that one day we'll talk we will about talk it. We'll talk about yes. it, yeah. When you're and able to when understand. Eventually, when that time comes, yes. at least you'll be able to talk yeah. to them. Well, apart from you... Um, Staying on the line, in the path of God, because mm. you st even when, because by the time you go to church and you're drunk, mm. you're clearly saying God. Even if I fall, let me fall. Before even you on GXP, yeah. there are times I've the whole night I'm somewhere mm, drinking, drinking, mm. and in the morning I'll brush my teeth. Mm. And if some can recall, I used to chew chew gum. Mm. And then you come. Come. The DJ does their own thing. You come and, and but I'll make scriptures. sure I'm not close to my producer. Okay. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm there. Okay, from, in mm. all in all my darkness, mm. I didn't stop serving God. Uh -huh. I had I was not ashamed to serve God. I didn't run out from God. And those were crutches that kept you yes. going. Yes. Like how everyone says, Oh, I gave up on God. Mm. I was no. You I stayed on course. I just gave up on people of God. Mm. <laughs> in other words. Yeah, I know, I know. And where his people are, his sons and daughters. Mm. But I stuck to him. And only because you felt judged. You yes. felt condemned. Yes. You felt like they were insensitive. Yes. No, just imagine, Hilda, most of us come from blended families. Yeah. Most of us come from mothers. Broken families. Yes. And mm. most of us come from mothers mm. who have children with different fathers. Yes. But imagine people you are dining with in your home saying, ah, mm. like, why, why are you putting my mother in this? Can't you find something better? Or oh, if you have nothing to say, can yes. you keep quiet? Yes. Wow. I, I actually, a, a, a very conversational person, because mm. I, I, I was a very conversational person. Mm. You just withdrew. I withdrew, yeah. To this day, by mm. the way, even when I go for... We always have... Of late, I thank God for the concerts you're having in Uganda, Christian mm. concerts. Mm. But for those who see me, ask. Mm. I'm always somewhere in the hideout. No. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to... <laughs> You're not that person that used to be everywhere no. doing everything. Mm -mm. And that, does, does that, um, how, do, how long do you envision to, to do that? Because we, we need you back full thing. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a lot inside of you, a mm. lot, nurturing mm. the, this generation. It, it needs you to come, and back, come, come back and risk. Because mm. there's no way you can mentor without risking. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you're still nurturing yourself. Yes, you're still yes. filling up yourself. Yes, you're still, yes. and that is good, nourishing yourself mm. and, and all that. Uh, but apart from staying in God and having a support system, I like mm. where your mother told you, I'm going to put a mattress here and mm. pray for you. And she did that two inch mattress. In my bedroom. Wow. Not even, there were other bedrooms that in my bedroom. You come back drunk, I'll be here praying. You and breaking my here. bottles. You know, and I ask, I don't know how much I've spent. Uh huh. And, and you know, let me tell you, Hilda, the devil is really cunning. Yeah. The money for drinks will always be there. 
but money for development is a struggle to get. People will even give you. Mm. Like people, someone can afford a, a bottle of a million, a million shillings, yeah. but not put it into your pocket. No, I've ever been offered. One time someone invited me and they wanted to buy me a drink. The bottle at that time was three million shillings. Mm -hmm. That's uh, some... But they cannot I don't want to mention to that brand, but mm. something blue. Mm. I looked at it, I'm like, Three million shillings. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That sounds enticing, but can I have that in my pocket? Like, can okay. I buy a dryer somewhere? Can yeah. I, I know. I'm like, okay. Mm. But um, I must encourage Christians mm. to stand still. Even when you're going through a depression and you're doing the weirdest of things, mm. don't judge yourself because these things happen for a short time. I they went do. through this addiction mm. for a short time, by the way, though it seemed long. Mm. But the then, situation makes it long. The yes, pain makes yes. it long. But let me tell you, Hilda, God forbid, if I found you, I look up to you. Mm. If I found you doing that, I would never even go talk about it. And but other I'll look for you in, in my own way. If it means also pretending to drink, yeah. I'll buy. We sit and talk. Because mm. sometimes it somebody needs that way. person who... I mean, I've ever who done that. Who comes into their situation. Yes, I've ever done that. I don't smoke. Yeah. But there was a lady who was going through a very, very tough time. She, she was married and HIV finds it in her marriage. Mm. She started smoking. And she was so bitter. She had suicidal thoughts. Mm. I, I remember buying a pack of cigarettes, giving her. And I was pretending, but I don't, <laughs> I don't mm. smoke. Mm. But you wanted time with her. Until, you and until you the trust. That from that day, me and this lady, we are inseparable. Wow. We are like sisters. And all that, she's no more. She felt understood. Yes. She felt seen. And, and that's heart. sometimes what people need. That's what, that's all. Yes. And that's this all. is how you lead people to Christ or to prayer. <laughs> but <laughs> when you're also throwing spears and thorns and And then you Sarah. tell them, come to Christ. <laughs> no. What kind of Christ are you calling us to? No, <laughs> no. that's not oh, Christ. Oh my goodness. Oh mm. my goodness. And I believe that God takes us through such times so we can be able to understand mm. and stop judging. I think there are years you get to... And you look back and you're like, I think I can stand anything right now. Oh, yeah. And right now? I can Oof. tolerate anything right now. Mm. I can, someone can be in their, their worst version mm. and I will still uphold them, pray for them, mm. pat them on the shoulder and tell them things will yes. be okay. Yes. And I think that's a gift. It is. Mm. It is a gift that comes with consequences, yeah, that with comes experience. with experiences. Like I said, I'll insist. Mm. My ex-husband is not a bad person. Yeah. We just failed to agree on a number of things. And the people around us made it worse. Yeah. But again, if I stood up to help any marriage, I think I'd do it so well. Wow. Because I can tell you when, okay, you can leave. Because yeah. he wasn't a violent man. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a violent man. Mm. I know we could have solved these issues. Mm. But there we were failed. catalysts. Yeah. yeah, we failed to. Mm. So I can tell you when to walk away and when not to walk away. Mm. Because you, know? you have been there. Because I've been there. You have gone through yes. it. And I was young, I think. I know, <laughs> so. I know. And that makes it even worse. I think we need mm. more time with Carol. More time. <laughs> I think we need more time because our mm. time is fast spent. But mm. I'm so glad we got to have this conversation. Mm. This is deliverance for so many people mm. who cannot walk to church, to pastors, who long to be heard and to be seen that are going to see themselves through this story. Mm. And if you watch this story and you have any feedback, I know that I will be able to share with it with Carol. Make sure that you use the numbers on your screen. Reach out. Let's talk. Do not die alone. Do not faint alone. There's mm -hmm. a lot of hope. And if God could take us through the things that we have gone through, if he could take her through the things that he has gone, she has gone through, I believe that he will take you through. We love you. Be blessed.